We've seen an example of working with roots, but really this gives no structure to our application. So what we're going to do is set up working with controllers, and this is pretty straightforward. So I guess the first thing to do is just create the controller that we want to work with, and then we'll hook it up into Slim. So over in app, I'm going to create a new folder called controllers, and within here we can create any of the controllers that we need. So let's create a new file and go over and we'll just call this homecontroller.php. This will just be responsible for showing our home page. Now obviously this will need a namespace, so it's under app and controllers. And we just fix that. Obviously this is going to be home controller. So now we can have something like an index method and we want to be able to accept in our request and our response. So here, let's just return home controller. So when we finally got this set up, we'll see this output. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's just go and get rid of our root here. And instead what we want to do is set up a binding on our container to return this controller. And then we can attach this to a root. So this is really straightforward. All we want to do is down here on our container, we want to say, well, the home controller is going to return a new app controllers home controller instance. Perfect. So we can even bring in our container here if we need it later. Now, over in our roots, all we need to do is say app get and then the name of the root. And then in here, we say home controller, a colon, and the name of the method. And that is it. We now have controllers set up. So hopefully, if we go back over to our browser, we've not called it home now, so we can go back to our root. We see home controller. Perfect. So this is all set up and ready to go. This is the basics of working with controllers. Now that that's all set up, we want to look at a way that we can start to use other container items within our controller. Now at the moment, what we can do is we can say, well, let's var dump request, and we can even test this out by saying request get param name, for example. Now at the moment that will be null, but if we were to pass say name equals Billy into here, we get Billy. So that's how our request works. It works in exactly the same way and also the same as the response as well. But we want to be able to access the views. Now what we can't do is something like this view, which is our slim view package. It doesn't work, we get null back. So we need a way to access this from within our controllers. Let's jump over and look at a way that we can do this.